What if the most powerful telescope in history has revealed something we were never meant to see? Imagine that everything we have ever believed about the origin of our universe, about time, space, and reality itself, is on the verge of collapse under the weight of new evidence. The James Webb Space Telescope, designed to gaze into the earliest light of the cosmos, has delivered data so unsettling that even Nobel Prize, winning physicists have begun to break their silence with chilling warnings. One of them summed it up in a simple, terrifying message. This is not our universe. What exactly did the James Webb Telescope find at the very edge of everything? And why are scientists warning that it could force us to rewrite the very foundations of cosmology as we know it? Somewhere in a remote corner of the sky, filled with ancient light, the James Webb Telescope captured what at first appeared to be a simple yellowish splotch. Astronomers were intrigued but cautious when they zoomed in and analyzed it. However, their assumptions began to crumble. That tiny glowing blob wasn't just another distant galaxy. It turned out to be the most remote galaxy ever observed, formed a mere 290 million years after what we consider the birth of the universe. But that's where the problem begins. It's too massive, too bright, and too mature to have formed so soon after the Big Bang. According to our current theories, there simply wasn't enough time or material in the early universe to allow galaxies of this size and complexity to come into existence. And yet there it is defying everything we thought we understood. Even more unsettling is that this isn't an isolated case. Webb has now found dozens of similar galaxies, each one a cosmic paradox, shattering every rule that we thought governed the formation of the early universe. The more scientists studied these findings, the stranger they became. Some of these early universe objects aren't merely massive. They're alien to anything we've ever seen. Typical galaxies convert about 10% of their gas into stars. It's a balancing act of matter, gravity, and time. But Webb has detected at least three galaxies that appear to have transformed 100% of their gas into stars. There is no gas or dust left, just pure blazing starlight. This isn't just highly unusual. It's impossible according to every current model of galaxy formation. So, scientists began to ask themselves a more unsettling question. What if these objects aren't galaxies at all? What if what we're seeing isn't the early universe as we imagine it, but something entirely different, an artifact from another dimension, a remnant of a previous cosmos, or even an intrusion from an alternate universe altogether? To grasp why this is shaking cosmology to its core, we have to consider the nature of the observable universe and something called the Hubble sphere. As space expands, the farther away a galaxy is from us, the faster it recedes. At a certain distance, the Hubble sphere, objects are moving away faster than the speed of light. Intuition says that anything beyond this boundary should be invisible to us forever. And yet, we can see these galaxies. This is because space itself is stretching, pulling light along with it. So, the boundary of what is visible keeps expanding. But beyond that boundary lies something deeply unsettling. A region of the universe we will never physically reach and which will never reach us. And yet, the James Webb Telescope is now detecting light and signals from these so-called impossible zones, regions of space that by all rights should be forever hidden. Which leaves one terrifying possibility. We may be seeing beyond the edge of our universe, and no one knows what lies on the other side. Webb's data is pushing scientists to confront questions they once considered unthinkable. What if the universe never had a beginning in the way we imagine? Some Nobel laureates are now openly questioning the Big Bang model itself. Because if galaxies could form faster than physics allows, if light can reach us from beyond cosmic boundaries, and if structures can appear that defy our understanding of time, scale, and mass, then maybe our entire story of cosmic history is flawed. Maybe what we call the early universe isn't early at all. Maybe what we're seeing is not a timeline, but a fracture a junction where two universes overlap. Or perhaps worse, it's a place where something far older than our universe is bleeding through into ours. Whatever it is, it doesn't fit our models. And no amount of tweaking equations seems likely to make it fit. Among the James Webb Telescope's most intriguing and overlooked discoveries is not even an image, but a signal, a strange frequency hidden in the background noise of the cosmos. While measuring this faint radiation, 
Webb's instruments picked up a rhythmic oscillation that doesn't match any known cosmic phenomenon. It's not a pulsar. It's not gravitational waves. It isn't a quirk in the cosmic microwave background. Instead, it repeats at precise intervals as if it were somehow generated deliberately. Some astrophysicists have taken to calling it the heartbeat beyond time. Others are more cautious, suggesting it might be the signature of exotic matter, something that can only exist outside the known boundaries of our universe. But here's the most chilling part. The frequency is not random. It follows a mathematical pattern as if something or someone encoded it with the express purpose of being found. But that's not the only unsettling revelation. Webb has also uncovered a massive imbalance between what we see and what we feel in the cosmos. Galaxies at the most extreme distances seem to have enough gravity to bend light, warp space, and influence nearby structures. But no visible matter is there to account for this gravitational pull. This isn't the same as dark matter, which is theorized to be invisible but abundant throughout the universe. This is something else entirely. Researchers now believe Webb may be detecting vast gravitational anomalies, phantom mass fields that act like fingerprints pressing down on space-time from somewhere we can't observe. But where could they be coming from? Some theorists are now entertaining the previously unthinkable, that these are shadows cast by another universe colliding with our own. Imagine if everything we see has a mirror image we cannot see, not metaphorically, but physically. A fringe theory once dismissed by mainstream cosmology is gaining fresh attention. The idea that there exists a mirrored universe in which time flows in the opposite direction and the laws of physics run backward relative to ours. What's changed? The James Webb Telescope has captured evidence suggesting asymmetric particle behaviors and unusual rotational patterns in faraway galaxies. Hints that suggest two distinct cosmic systems might be overlapping. It's as if our universe is being pulled in one direction while just out of reach another reality is moving in reverse. If that's true, then we might not merely be part of a vast universe. We could be entangled with a shadow reality that reflects our own in ways we're only beginning to imagine. And then there is one final twist in Webb's growing catalog of the strange. One of its long-range instruments was tracking the light signature of a source at the very edge of the observable universe. As expected, the light's signature began to fade, destined to disappear forever, just as the light from distant objects usually does when it crosses the cosmic horizon. But then, inexplicably, it reappeared. Not from the same place, not from the same time, but with the exact same spectral fingerprint, as if the light had been sent out and bounced back from something. The telescope had just witnessed what scientists are calling a cosmic echo. But echo of what? There are only two explanations that make any sense at all. Either the light circled around the curvature of the universe itself, implying that space is not infinite, but closed and curved back on itself, or it hit something else. Something at the very edge. Something capable of reflecting light. Something that by every rule we know should not be there. Because if this is not the right universe, then what does that even mean for us? For centuries, humanity has tried to map the cosmos to reduce its dizzying scale into something comprehensible. We drew neat models of orbits, elegant diagrams of cosmic inflation, timelines that seem to offer clarity. But what if those diagrams are like children's sketches of the ocean, sweetly earnest, but missing the vast crushing depth? The James Webb Space Telescope is not simply adding detail to our cosmic map. It is tearing holes in it. Astronomers and physicists are now forced to grapple with possibilities they once dismissed as science fiction. The idea that there could be other universes was long the domain of thought experiments and fringe theories. But now confronted with galaxies that shouldn't exist, with impossible star formation, with gravitational fingerprints that have no visible source, scientists have to wonder if these are the first direct clues of the multiverse itself. Maybe our universe is just one bubble in an endless cosmic foam, and the light we see is leaking in from a neighbor. Or maybe these other universes are not fully separate at all, but layered or tangled with ours in ways we can barely imagine, influencing us through subtle gravity, radiation, or particle interactions that defy classical physics. Some theorists are now reviving the concept of the cyclic universe. The idea that the Big Bang was not the birth of everything but merely the latest in a series of expansions and contractions. 
If the web is seeing structures that are too mature to have formed in the time allowed, maybe that's because they're relics from an older cycle of the cosmos, fossilized evidence of a previous universe that left its imprint on ours. But if that's true, then time itself may not be a single arrow pointing from past to future. Instead, it might be a loop or even a fractal, splitting and merging in ways we don't yet understand. Others go even further, asking whether the concept of universe even makes sense anymore. What if space and time are emerging properties, illusions created by the underlying quantum information of reality? In that view, what we call the edge of the universe is not a physical boundary, but a limit of our current models and senses. The echoes that Webb detected, the repeating pulses, the gravitational anomalies, these might be evidence not of faraway places, but of deeper layers of reality itself, like ripples in the code that runs the cosmos. Meanwhile, philosophers and theologians are watching these developments with equal parts wonder and dread. For centuries, science seemed to be on a quest to banish mystery, to make the universe fully knowable, predictable, controllable. But now, the most precise instrument we have ever built is telling us something entirely different. That the universe is not only stranger than we know, but stranger than we can know. That there may be aspects of reality forever beyond the reach of our measurements and equations. The implications for humanity are profound. If our universe is not the only one, or if it's part of a layered or mirrored reality, then what does that mean for our sense of meaning, purpose, or significance? For some, it is exhilarating, proof that the cosmos is richer and more complex than we ever dreamed. For others, it is terrifying, a reminder of our smallness and ignorance. If there are other universes pressing against ours, bleeding into it or reflecting it in reverse, then even the most basic questions, where are we? What are we?